Now the first step is to disconnect and reconnect Wi-Fi. So simply disconnect and then you can turn off the Wi-Fi and then turn it on and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, uh, you can switch to different network. And once you're connected to other network, now you can check. If that does not work, use cell phone hotspot. So you can turn on the data on the phone, turn on the hotspot on your phone. Now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot. Now you can connect to your phone network. So find your phone network over here, connect to your phone network and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. Now for this, you can shut down your computer first. Unplug the power cable from the computer, turn off Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router, connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working, try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to network and internet, network and sharing center and then click on your net network and then go to properties and then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then click on properties. Select use the following DNS server addresses. For preferred DNS server, type in 8888 and for alternate DNS server, type in 8844 and then click on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Close this and then now you can relaunch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, you can try this DNS server. Now for this again, go to control panel and then click on your network over here. Again, properties, select internet protocol version four properties. And for preferred DNS, this time you can type in one, one, one one and for alternate one then zero zero one and then validate settings upon exit click on ok close this and then once this is done now relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, you can switch back to automatic still not working again click on your internet properties internet protocol version 4 properties you can set this to automa automatic click on ok now the next step is to uncheck ipv6 now for this you can again click on your internet properties scroll down and here you can see internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 if this is checked you can uncheck this box click on ok and then relaunch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game you can go back to properties and then after you're done playing the game you can put a check on internet protocol version 6 once again now it's still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this you can make a right click on the game manage browse local files open this write folder binaries win64 make a right click on the game exe file select properties Go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Do, you can do the same thing with the first exe file, make a right click, properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browser apps. Go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Write folder. Select this exe file. Click on open. Again, add an allowed app, browser apps, and then open this write folder binaries win64. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse, again go to the game installation folder, 
open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added once added again click on allow another app click on browse open write folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then again add once the game is added and you can put a check on both private and public you can try this uh, for both the exe file and then you can click on ok and then check now still not working the next step is to now similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have add both the exe file or you can add the complete game folder to the exception list of your antivirus program and then you can check next step is to run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key run all the commands Now, once this is done, you can close this, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, turn off or close VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can turn it off or you can close VPN and then check for many users turning on has worked. So you can try both, but you can, if it is already on, turn it off and close VPN and then relaunch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to use ethernet connection. So if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet co cable, you can use the wired connection and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and website is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time, make a right click on date and time, click on adjust date and time. And if set time zone automatically, if this is off, you can turn it on, set time automatically, again, turn it off and then turn it on and then you have to click on sync now sync now is important over here once the sync is done if you receive any error click on sync now multiple times once you see a tick over here go back to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection issue with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.